Hi guys, welcome back to another kiln unloading. We have got pumpkins and glaze tests and a bunch more. So let's see what we got. Oh gosh, these turned out so cute. Look at these cute pumpkins. <laughs> Love these. So I tried throwing some mini ones this year and they are awesome. Super love these. There's a whole bunch of them. I'll just line them up here. <laughs> Super cute. So they're all a little different. Some of them have vines on them. And so that's vines too. They're all bright orange. They're green stems. These are so cute. <laughs> love these. Love them, love them. And my daughter came out and played with me in the studio one day and she made this one. She did awesome. She is six and she loves hand building. So <laughs> these were wheel thrown, but she hand built this one. Amazing job. All right, move these out of the way. And next we've got donuts. I think these are the last donuts. <laughs> the last of the donut donuts. For the moment anyway. Should I make more of these? They were fun to make. I think I would make them a little differently next time I uh, hand glazed every one of these. I think next time it would be nicer to use colored clay <laughs> and extrude that rather than try to individually color them. But other than that, just some logistics on that, but I like them a lot. So new development in my studio, I started mixing my own glazes. And it took me a while to get to that point because I found it really, really intimidating. So here are the first results and they're mostly green. <laughs> I need to work on some color variation, but they look like glazes and I'm super happy with that. So I just did these little test little cup things. And this is black slip on this side that I dyed with mason stain. And that's just my regular clay body. So I wanted to see what it looked like on different things, on different colors. You can see a little bit of blue in there. Oh, a little bit of blue in there. So I think this one, if I mix more of the oxides in there, that would be more what I was looking for. But I'm so happy they're even glazes. <laughs> because I'm telling you, this, this took me a long time to get to this point. Because I'm going to mess it up. It's chemistry. Ah, scary. But it wasn't that bad. It was not that bad. <laughs> so this is a clear. That looks really good. <laughs> like it looks like a clear glaze. Look, I succeeded in something. There's some little bit of color variation there too. That's what more what I was going for, the color variation on some on some of these. That one was supposed to be clear. <laughs> but uh see a little bit there. So I have a jumping off point now, and I'm really super happy with that. Yeah, they look pretty much all the same. <laughs> Um, I did do just six glazes, and then I tried a couple different combos, so there's not going to be a whole lot of variation. See, this one's darker. See? Different, different. <laughs> so this was, um, probably, I'd have to actually look at my notes. They're all numbered at the bottom, but this is probably, uh, some mason stain mixed in, like a lesser amount and a bigger amount, so. Some variation there. Alright, you can see a little... A little bit of color there, a little bit of blue. Oh, see? This is why you have cookies. This one is a different clear. I like that one as well. I think this one maybe actually was a little more successful. I don't see any like pooled bits where it's getting wider. So this one, that was a good one. I'll look into what, what, the, what that one was. All right, oh, oh wow, look at this one. Yeah, see? I think if I had more of the oxide in there, I would get more of that and I would like it even better. All right, look at that, progress and trying new things. <laughs> now I just have these little drip catchers because uh, new glazes, don't trust new glazes. You should always protect your film shelf. All right, get these guys out of the way. So I'll have a whole video on exactly what I put on these and how I mix them up. I used, uh, Old Forge Creations. It's a, a uh, different potter. He put out some glaze recipes that are great for beginner people who haven't mixed glazes before. So thank you very much for putting that online. 
and uh, I'm gonna experiment more, but this was a huge, huge progress, huge step forward for me. Big dang deal. All right, getting the shelf out of the way. We'll see what's on the next level. So many pumpkins. <laughs> yes, I know, I put them there. But they're bright orange now, they're awesome. Okay. Oh, these look so good. All right, so these are all jack-o'-lanterns. <laughs> I have those new this year. So I'll put their... Oh, look how awesome that is. <laughs> oh, man. These guys will be there on video too. So the lid comes off just like a jack-o'-lantern, right? They're unglazed on the inside. And I'm gonna put like a little candle or a little battery operated light in there maybe. And it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> Holy cow, I'm thrilled with this one. But there's more. Let's see, here we go. That's that guy's lid. <gasps> Look how cute. <laughs> okay, I'm obsessed with these now. Oh my gosh. Super cool. Let's see this one. Ah! It's like a vampire one. Love this one. Oh my gosh. Look how cool these are. <laughs> ah, I hadn't carved them before. I made pumpkins last year, but I hadn't carved them. These look so fabulous as little jack o There's this guy. He's got little vines down there. Super cool. This one. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I love these! Oh gosh, so so good. This guy. <laughs> Look how cute! Oh my gosh. And this one, this whole, this whole level is just pumpkins. <laughs> just pumpkins, so many pumpkins. Love, love, love these. Oh man. So if you'd like to own one of these adorable little guys, they will be on my website eventually but <laughs> if you comment I will put them up there faster so super cute I kind of like the fangs I'm not really into vampires but I think that really works okay one more jack-o-lantern and two mini pumpkins left on this level all right that guy's lid doesn't fit it quite as well you win some you lose some anyway I like the face though and it's not a total loss it's just rattles that's okay and then, mini, mini. This one's super tiny. <laughs> little vine there. And slightly bigger mini. Oh man, these are so cute. I love the pumpkins. Love the pumpkins. All right, next level. Let's see what we have. I think we have another pumpkin maybe? Not as many though. I think there might be one left. All right, got some plates. Got a yellow plate. Kind of a first pattern situation going on with the carving. I like that. Very pretty. It's a little bit of a smaller plate. Sometimes you just need a smaller meal, you know? I like that one a lot. I've got another yellow one. Different kind of sunny pattern on it. Decided I like plates without a foot ring. So, foot rings are nice, but they end up more lightweight like this and stack better and I just like them better. So, that's how I'm making plates. This one was an experiment, and it's a little smeary. I don't really super love it. I like the carving, but I could have applied the underglaze a little better. I tried wiping it back, and then I left some on the rim, and I, I could have done that a little better, I think. But the carving's nice. Not horrible. Maybe not my favorite. This one, though, has glazed chips, and I love me some glazed chips. That looks so cool. So these ones aren't runny, unlike some of the other ones I've done. These ones I just put on a stable glaze. So it's more paint splotchy look maybe. I don't know what you want to call it, but I like it. Looks really cool. And then I had some slip trail dots on it for some added texture. So this one, I really, really like how that turned out. That one's gorgeous. All right, next level. So this one, it has a story behind it. <laughs> oh, I feel the need to explain this one. So, I saw online that if you take glaze chips, oh, if you take glaze chips and put them like in a container in a bowl, and then biscuit, you can then mix them with glazes, 
to have like a speckled look, right? Cool idea, but apparently I bisked them too high <laughs> and they all melted to the bowl. And so I now had a bowl full of halfway melted glaze chips. So I was like, whatever, it's already ruined. I may as well just fire it. So that's what I did. So this is, you can see it's quite full because I put a bunch of glaze chips in there. And I thought, why not? Why not experiment? So I have this really heavy, super cool looking bowl now with like way too much glaze. I will not be repeating this. <laughs> it's an oopsie, but I think it looks cool. <laughs> Yeah, not selling that one, but it looks really neat with all the glaze chips. So it's really heavy, not very functional because you have like an inch of bowl. Definitely a decorative piece. Paperweight, perhaps. <laughs> you know, I think this is uh, you win some, you lose some, and it didn't really hurt anything to just fire it the rest away. So I shall be keeping this one because there's nothing else I can do with it, and it's really cool. But. <laughs> Bit of a failed experiment there. So next time, I'll try it again, but this getting lower because a speckled glaze is pretty darn cool. But obviously it didn't work my way. Didn't, didn't work, didn't work that time. That's okay. That's okay. You, you win some, you lose some. All right. This bowl. So I wiped it back. I did like white and then blue on top and wiped it back. Kind of don't love it. <laughs> it's, not, it's not terrible. And then it dripped down the inside. Don't really love it. Not a fan. Not a fan. That's okay. Again, you're not gonna have 100% successes in pottery. All right. This one turned out cute though. I did little dots along, little glazed dots along it. I like that little vase. It's cool. I did some honey flux in there. If you can see it. There you go. <laughs> All right. That was nice. A bowl, yellow on the outside, blue on the inside, lots of carving. That one turned out fun, like that guy. And then just a couple more things. This one was going to be a pumpkin, and then it got too dry, so I couldn't shape it or anything, because life happens. And so I was like, hey, what if I punch holes in it and it could be like a little like a flower frog you know where you put the flowers in but like a little flower frog round vase situation so be good for little short flowers anyway not sure i love the glaze kind of funky kind of weird kind of won't make one again but <laughs> again i'm all about trying new things it's fine and because fall's gonna be really way too fast i decided to start some christmas trees too so i've got one christmas tree Decided to try this style. What do you guys think? I think it needs a star. And I think the little red ornaments could have been more visible. But overall, I think it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And the last thing is a pumpkin. Not a jack-o'-lantern, but a pumpkin. The last thing. Pretty cool. A little vine there. Love, love, love all the pumpkins. <laughs> it's so fun. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Happy fall, and I'll see you next time. Bye.